motor, supercharged V6, 345 brake horsepower, short, lightweight car, less than 1.2 tonnes. That's insane. We're talking insane numbers in a reasonably priced car for, for the figures, I think. So this 350 Sport Edition can do more than 170 miles an hour, whereas the normal ones are limited to 150, 155. We've got a sub 4 second 0 to 60. Bloody lightweight car, stupidly quick. So this car, not only is it so visceral, it gives you all these different buzzing feelings as you're driving it. They've updated it, they've changed it since the Series 2. They've made the wheelbase longer so it handles a bit better, it's not as snappy. They've changed the front end a little bit, the grills are a little bit bigger, so it looks a little bit more aggressive. They've changed the headlights a bit so you've got some nice LEDs in there, it's a lot brighter, a lot more angry looking in my opinion. This is the twin scroll supercharger. You get no lag, 345 brake horsepower from a V6, but it's lightweight, it's compact, the uh, supercharger's on top so it keeps the weight all between the wheels, so it's nice and mid-engined. Very impressive car. The outside of the car is spec beautifully, the inside is just as impressive with this dark black leather and the contrasting yellow stitching. We have the exposed shifter in here, which normally you'd see in something of the million pound region like the Pagani Quiro. Absolutely incredible, brilliant feeling, I mean that's what this car is all about, is the mechanical feeling and how visceral it is behind the wheel. These cars sound mega. Twin scroll supercharged V6.